Hey everybody, Mike Lawson here with Spit Exec. On the show today, we have California Coast Credit Union's President and CEO Todd Lane talking about what he does to stay fit and long with his credit union's wellness program. So check it out. What do you, I mean, let's get right to it. What do you do to, to stay in shape and, and, to, and to stay fit and, and stay in good health here? A little bit of everything, Mike. Um, I actually run a, a bit, not not quite as much as I used to, but uh, do some running and sometimes it's on a treadmill sometimes it's out on the street sometimes it's you know on the beach so uh, I like to run um, and to do a bit of walking uh, as well my wife will go walking with me sometimes she runs with me mm -hmm. and of course I have a new baby so we uh, we push him in the in the bob in the stroller right which on. is uh, an extra bit of work um, do also uh, I you know I also surf a bit uh, not as much as I used to Mike but um, I like to surf like to get in the ocean you know we're blessed to live here in San Diego and the beaches are very close to our, uh, my home and the office and so I get out in the water surf we've um, we've started stand-up paddle boarding mm -hmm. done that for the past couple of years my wife and I do that together on the coast that's a lot of fun you get in a little exercise there not not quite as much as surfing um, body surfing that sort of thing mm -hmm. but you know every opportunity I get I like to stay active um, I never take the elevator here at, at work as an example I'm always taking the stairs it's only four flights but hey that's a few calories that I can burn and um, it allows me to to pretty much eat whatever I want to eat <laughs> You know, I think people living in the Midwest and the Northeast are just are are cringing right now at, at all the beach talk and all the all the Pacific Ocean talk. Like, wait a minute, you get to do that every day? My gosh, how cool is that? <laughs> yeah, it's 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 great, and you know, we probably don't use it enough, um, but uh, but yeah, every opportunity we're we're at the beach almost every weekend for sure, and then sometimes during week. Mike, I actually used to, there was a time, not so much anymore, I used to load my surfboard in, in my car and before I would go home from work every day, I would hit, you know, hit the beach for an hour or two and uh, sometimes there would be great waves and you'd get to surf. Other times there was nothing there, but it was just, it was great. It's, it's great for your mental health just to get out in the water and even sit there at times. You know, there's something about the water, no matter whether it's the ocean or a swimming pool or anything like that. Once you get in there and you get out, there's just something so refreshing and just kind of washes all the, the troubles away, so to speak. And it's just really cool that you get to do that type of stuff. Anybody for that matter. Yeah, it's great. It, you, you can decompress in, mm -hmm. in the water. It, for some reason, it it's much quicker than rushing home and, and dealing with all the issues at, at home, yep. which we all do. Of course. Um, but, um, but yeah, I, I enjoy it. And again, you know, we're so close to the beach. It's uh, something we need to take advantage. And we, we hike, too. That's another thing. Oh, There's yeah. lots of mountains in the area, hills. And so we'll go hiking, do, do short hikes. Um, and my son is now about 25 pounds. And... Uh, he's about 10 months old and so now I have a 25 pound weight that I'm yeah, carrying no. while while we're doing these things. And <laughs> so that's a that's a little bit of exercise there you go excellent okay now you're doing a whole lot of stuff you're getting plenty of rest and the diet and all that type how does this overall how does it benefit your job every day because you're a busy guy yeah well it's kind of what what um, what we just just talked about for me it's my mental health it, it keeps me sane I need to stay active and I have a lot of energy at work and I think when I work out when I exercise I have that much more energy mm -hmm. and um, so you know for me it's the mental health and just keeping that energy level very very high um, we have a great organization here great credit union great staff we have a lot of folks into wellness and it's not just a Southern California thing it's really the culture here at our organization I should tell you one day because uh, I talked a little bit about my eating habits uh, I think exercise and staying active allows you to eat a lot of the things that perhaps you wouldn't normally eat yeah. but I'll tell you a story one day I was uh, running late I was just my schedule was jam-packed and we had these vending machines in our lunchroom and, and of course of course there's the typical frozen burrito in there that you microwave and and I was running to get one of those and um, one of our employees and, and it could have been one of, of hundreds 
caught me actually buying this frozen burrito out of the machine and she stopped me and she said, you cannot eat that. that I'm not going to let you eat that for lunch. And I said, look, I've already paid for it. And she said, do not put that in the microwave. I'm going to run to the business next door, which actually has a cafeteria and you're going to eat a turkey sandwich on wheat. And I said, I can't have you do that. And, um, and then I went off and started chomping away on my, my uh, frozen burrito in, in my office. And, and lo and behold, she shows up with a, a, uh, a, a turkey sandwich on, on wheat bread with sprouts and the whole bit. And um, it, I think that was, a, just for me, that was a great reminder that I need to stay away from those things. And you need people around you that are committed to you know, health and exercise, yep. and um, and and we certainly have that here, so it makes it easy for me. Yeah, that's what that was one of my questions later on. Is like, what accountability mechanisms do you have to keep you keep you fit, keep you consistent, keep you on a good diet, keep you well rested, keep you exercising? Yeah, it's. I think it's the people around you is a big part of it. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're in, you know. A, healthy atmosphere where people are committed to it um, and certainly my wife is she surfs she does all of the same activities that I do oh, awesome. um, in fact she she does more than I do she does these spin classes which I'm really not into but um, so we kind of I, th- I think surrounding yourself with the right people yeah. that do these sort of things is is very important and then you always need to think about what's your why we ask ourselves Got that it. here as part of our wellness mm-hmm. program what's your why and for me again it's my energy and my mental health um, that's my why I also have a family history of high cholesterol and heart disease that's part of my why as well and then I have a I have a family you know and I want to I want to be here I'm an older parent now I have some some older daughters um, but I have a new baby and gosh I Mike I want to be here for him and you know I want to be that crusty old man but but healthy and uh, I, I can only do that if I stay active and exercise. A healthy, crusty old man. We like that. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, I mean, were you always this? I mean, were you always surrounded by people who are healthy and fit? Or, or did it one day something change? Go, you know what? I got to get healthy and stay this way. Or were you always that way? We were talking before the show that you, some of the pictures on the wall back there, like you, those are some of the beaches you used to surf and body surf when you were a kid and stuff. Sounds like you were consistently this way. Yeah, pretty much. You know, I, I came from, a, a, you know, I, my family's very athletic and we were all always into sports, mm-hmm. played baseball and basketball and football, you know, the typical sports. Um, but again, in San Diego, we also surfed. I yeah. mean, we, we uh, every day after school, uh, we, we'd be at the beach surfing before we, we went home and that's if we had transportation. But so I've always have kind of been this way, always have been active. But also, you know, I did, both my parents have passed away of heart disease, and, and that was an eye-opener for, for me, certainly. Um, you know, I went and got my cholesterol tested, all those things, and, um, but it's just, a, it's just a great reminder. They were both, both my parents were healthy, mm-hmm. uh, but um, these things happen, and yeah. you just got to, you know, you got to keep an eye out for it. And I, I do, by the way, I've mentioned, you know, perhaps that I don't eat quite as well as I should, but I try to, you know, mm-hmm. occasionally um, I, I, I go off the wagon and I'm, I'm eating, you know, hamburgers and stuff like that. But, you know, there's a salad at every meal and, and we're eating a lot of fish and, yeah. and we have great fresh fish here in San Diego as well. So, um, so those things, things go hand in hand. Indeed, indeed. And I'm, I, I'm the same way. I have a, a history of heart disease and high blood pressure and stuff in my family. And so that's a big motivation for me as well as my family. I want to be here. I'm the same situation. I, we have four-year-old twin girls and I want to be I want to be that healthy, crusty old man for them as well, you know. <laughs> so that's big time motivation for me as well. Crusty, crusty is a good goal, Mike. That's, uh, you know, I want to be that ornery old guy. So, you know, you can't, you can't do that if you die young, certainly. Exactly. So. Exactly. Yeah. Tell me about your credit union's wellness program. I, th- I find that very interesting because it, it seems like it kind of feeds on itself or it fuels itself because you have all these people doing really good things for their body, you know, whether it's exercising, diet, getting enough rest, that type of stuff. So there must be a huge accountability built into that program because then it's kind of infectious. Everybody wants to top each other. <laughs> Maybe there's a you sense of competition. You nailed it. it- <laughs> 
It's competitive. Yeah. It, it absolutely is. In fact, we've had wellness competitions here. So we started this about three, four years ago, and we jumped in feet first and went went big right away. Mm-hmm. We partnered with our healthcare health care provider and you know worked with them on doing some like BMI testing and health testing, yeah. health screening. Yeah. We've always had health fairs and stuff like that. But we started doing uh, health challenges, and the most recent one, we gave every employee that wanted to participate in this, it's called a pebble, and it measures how many steps you take Mm -hmm. in a a 24-hour period, Mm -hmm. and we formed teams, and we had a huge competition across the organization, and gosh, our employees, you wouldn't believe the number of steps that they took or they ran, and, and just how active they were. And um, and it was very competitive. It was fun competition. We uh, rewarded and recognized those that won, the teams that won, and the individuals. But that's just one thing. We have things like we have uh, yoga routinely here. Every week there's mm-hmm. a yoga class. Wow. Um, and uh, I've tried that. I'm not so good at the whole yoga thing. Um, we have a stretch class. We do Zumba. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've done square dancing. <laughs> We've had, yeah, some people right. are into square dancing. So we try and include everybody. Yeah. We had one employee that said, look, I'm a, I'm a caller in square dance, and I think square dancing is great exercise. It I'd is. like, you know, and so we, we tried that, and we've done that, and some r- really enjoy that. We have uh, walk clubs at lunch. Um, so all kinds of act- we're personal trainers. Mm-hmm. There's a whole group in the parking lot every other day with a personal tr- trainer and they're going through, you know, various exercises and, and weight training and that sort of thing. Um, so we're doing a, a lot of things, and then we we work on the on the food side. We have salad days here, and so everybody's committed to eating a salad for lunch that particular day. Nice. And they bring in the makings for a salad, and then the, the credit union purchases the rest of the stuff. And um, so it's just a lot of things because we want to hook everybody in some way. Yeah. And um, so you, you got to have a lot, a lot of variety. I think I maybe I didn't mention we actually had meditation here because oh. um, mental health is important. So we brought somebody in and um, we did a little bit of meditation. We haven't done so much of that recently. But, um, you know, just again, whatever hooks people, mm-hmm. we've partnered with Weight Watchers. So, I, you know, I can name a hundred other things, Mike, but it's in about it's about engaging everybody in the organization. And then the company is most definitely behind it. We have financially and and we participate. Well, I mean, that must do wonders for company morale, company productivity, um, just punctuality, all this, all, it must be, the benefits just must be off the chart with doing all these things for, for your employees. That's, that's an awesome thing. Not every company does it. I mean, there's a lot out there that do this. I mean, it's a great example for others to go, hmm, maybe we should try something like that. Absolutely. I think the returns are fantastic. Sometimes they're a little tough to, to, to measure, but in terms of you know, wellness and how often people are sick or, yeah, or in this case, think of that. Yeah. not sick. Yeah, they're at work more often and they're really engaged. Their energy level increases, you know, substantially. Mm-hmm. And um, so there's those sorts of, of benefits that we see all the time. But we also see or the employees see where the credit unions committed to their health. We really are. We really want them to be mm-hmm. be healthy, and um, we're willing to put our, our money where our mouth is. It's not just something that we benefit from, but uh, they benefit uh, personally. And um, you know, we've done stand up paddle boarding things on the weekend yeah. in the bay, and you know, you'll have twenty employees out there learning stand up paddle boarding, and they can bring their families, mm-hmm. and so. You know, it's just, it's about engaging them. Um, something that I'm very proud of, we started a smoking cessation program. We had a few smokers here at the credit union, and uh, I'm happy to report that they've stopped and, and quit, and and uh, so, and, and we paid for that. So, um, it, it's just all about their health, and it's it's really the right thing to do. Indeed, indeed. I mean, you sound like you're going to be the, the healthiest credit union in San Diego, if not the nation, so well done. <laughs> 
I, I don't know about that, but, but we're on our way. You're right? on your way. Hey, to wrap up here, Todd, I mean, what advice do you have for others out there who may be stuck in a rut and, and in this area of being fit and diet and, and want to get ahead in their career? I mean, what advice do you have for somebody out there who wants to like take that next step in their career, but you know, me, the fitness thing or may help them get there. What do you, what do you say to those folks? Well, you know, most people in my position and most credit union folks, you know, their schedules are jam packed. They simply don't have the yeah. time. So, you know, it's easy for me to say, make the time to do it, but I'm not going to say that. What I'm going to say is have a plan. Just okay. like anything else in life, if you know what your why is, you know, you have a family history of health issues or you want to be around for your children, we all have a why. Mm -hmm. So what is our motivation? but then putting together a plan and actually scheduling time for these sorts of things, whether it's in the middle of the day, in the morning, or after work. I'm an after work kind of guy yeah. uh, for the most part in terms of exercising, but um, it's, it's those sort of things. Have a plan and then look for the easy ways to be active. I mean, like okay. taking stairs. Yeah. There's no reason to take an elevator. Right. When you can burn off 70 calories by taking you know, a few flights of stairs, do it. Yeah. You know, it's 70 calories that you otherwise wouldn't have burnt. Um, so it's just those sorts of things and start out small and if you're like me you get bored with things pretty quickly so move on to something new try yeah. Zumba try square dancing try yoga whatever it is and uh, and if you get bored with it just move on to the next thing yeah. and uh, but stay active that's that's the key and have a plan yep very cool. Well, great message to end on, Todd. Thank you so much some great advice in there great takeaways and stay away from those frozen burritos will ya? I, I'll, I'll try to my I, I think they'll find uh, their way to my mouth occasionally, <laughs> but, but not very often. Well, so. as long as it's Thanks. occasionally. <laughs> All right, Todd. Well, thanks again. <laughs> Appreciate the time.